Thank you so much, Cornelia. So hopefully you get a feel for the richness of these intelligence services that you can use. And now it is up to each of us as developers to imagine what's possible. Imagine what Boeing can do to the business applications in the aerospace industry. What Case Western Reserve can do to medical education. What NASA can do for space exploration. What a fast food restaurant can do for order taking through a drive through using Chris. What a news organization can do to be able to interpret all text, all images, all videos on a social media stream in real time. And one developer truly inspired me this last year, very close to home for us at Microsoft. I want to see what he dreamt of. Roll the video. I'm Saqib Sheikh. I lost my sight when I was seven. And shortly after that, I went to a school for the blind. And that's where I was introduced to talking computers. And that really opened up a whole new world of opportunities. I joined Microsoft 10 years ago as a software engineer. I love making things which improve people's lives. And one of the things I've always dreamt of since I was at university was this idea of something that could tell you at any moment what's going on around you. I think it's a man jumping in the air doing a trick on a skateboard. I teamed up with like-minded engineers to make an app which lets you know who and what is around you. It's based on top of the Microsoft Intelligence APIs, which makes it so much easier to make this kind of thing. The app runs on smartphones, but also on the pivot head smart glasses. When you're talking to a bigger group, sometimes you can talk and talk and there's no response and you think, is everyone listening really well? Or are they half asleep? And you never know. I see two faces, 40 year old man with a beard looking surprised. 20-year-old woman looking happy. The app can describe the general age and gender of the people around me and what their emotions are, which is incredible. One of the things that's most useful about the app is the ability to read out text. Hello, good afternoon. Here's your menu. Great, thank you. I can use the app on my phone to take a picture of the menu, and it's going to guide me on how to take that correct photo. Move camera to the bottom right and away from the document and then it'll recognize the text. Read me the headings. I see appetizers, salads, paninis, pizzas, pastas. Hi. Years ago, this was science fiction. I never thought it would be something that you could actually do, but artificial intelligence is improving at an ever faster rate, and I'm really excited to see where we can take hey. this. <laughs> As engineers, we're always standing on the shoulders of giants building on top of what went before. And in this case, we've taken years of research from Microsoft Research to pull this off. I think it's a young girl throwing an orange frisbee in the park. For me, it's about taking that far off dream and building it one step at a time. I think this is just the beginning. For me, it's such a privilege to have a chance to share the stage with Saqib. And, you know, Saqib took his passion, his empathy, and is going to change the world. And to me, that's what Build is all about. He's here, in fact, at Build to network, inspire other developers, learn himself on how to take his applications and make them better. Uh, but more importantly, he's also here to teach. He's got a couple of uh, you know, sessions that he's going to do as well. And to me, that's what makes these developer conferences magical. It is about being able to take our passions, our empathy, and go after the opportunities that we see, go after the dreams that we have. And what Saqib has done has been a real inspiration for me. 
And we as developers have this tremendous opportunity and a tremendous responsibility. Because not only do we get to dream of the future, we get to build the future. I can't wait to see what you dream up and what you build. Thank you so very, very much. Have a fantastic build. Thank you.